Hi, honestly to be honest I hesitated in posting this video at the risk of looking dumb, but then I reminded myself I'm a smart woman who just so happens to lack cooking knowledge. With that being said, I hope you enjoy me being a dumb bitch in the kitchen. <laughs> out because I originally thought it'd be fun to start this video off by just pouring myself a glass of wine like grown-ups do in movies just living their best life cooking and sipping but something about working with flames while under the influence sounds terrifying so coffee it is <laughs> Well, shard of ice just shot back in my throat. Anyways, this evening I'm going to cook myself a full-blown meal for the first time ever. Sadly, this isn't clickbait. Let's just say I am quite acquainted with this area of my kitchen. Or, of course, this area. But this beautiful lady right here, I just look at her and I ask myself, Who is she? I do have to get it off my chest that back in the day I made a mean grilled cheese. I would blow people's... I don't know where I was going with that sentence. I even recall my non-religious friend saying that it gave her a religious experience. And it was my mom's favorite food of all time. She, she always wanted me to make her my grilled cheese. But then I cut dairy out of my life, so there goes my resume and my clout in the cooking world. Gordon Ramsay lost my number, <laughs> but have no fear. Because for Christmas, my best friend Taryn, who's a mom and cooks and is just really advanced in areas that I am not, she got me this book, this cookbook. I think she's trying to tell me something, that something being, cook yourself a meal for once in your life, Michaela. Message received, Taryn. I am going to try and make her proud as well as all of you proud tonight. The day before I met my mom and barma at Whole Foods where I shopped for all the ingredients necessary for my culinary creation. heart supposed to pound in a grocery store? <laughs> One hour later and I finally secured the bags. So what's on the menu tonight you may be asking yourself? Tonight I will be preparing pasta with roasted tomatoes and basil as well as spicy chipotle corn and zucchini. And I picked up this baguette which I'm very excited about as you can see. My aunt called me today because she heard that I was making myself dinner for the first time and she wanted to hear what I got. And that's when I learned that spicy chipotle corn and zucchini doesn't necessarily complement tomato and basil pasta. To make a long fucking story short. I haven't even began cooking and I've already found a way to screw up this meal. <laughs> okay, let's see. Line a baking sheet with parchment. <laughs> I don't have parchment paper. Who has parchment paper? You probably have parchment paper. Parchment paper. I mean, do people just have papers of parchment in their home? How do I turn on the oven? Start. <laughs> the oven's on, we're making moves. Okay, I just gave the tomatoes a bath. Toss the tomatoes in one tablespoon of olive oil. I'm trying to like lift them into the air and catch them, but they are, they are sticking. Yeah, no shit, honey! Now turn them out onto the baking sheet to cook for about 30 minutes or until the tomatoes are very soft. Add garlic and cook for the oven is ready, but I am not. Here's my zucchini. It has this really fun shape that exudes big dick energy. <laughs> Hi 
I'm actually debating following the recipe right now. <laughs> Only because it wants me to cook the veggies over the stove when I have this perfectly good sheet that has plenty of room for the zucchini, the corn, and the tomatoes to all hang out and be friends. I mean, sometimes rules are just meant to be broken. In this case, where I have absolutely zero cooking skills, one might argue that this is not the time to break the rules. This is this is time to follow those rules. But the tomatoes just look so lonely. <laughs> I wish I had friends. I'm just gonna go with my gut and and I'm gonna combine all of the veggies onto the sheet. No tomato left behind. I need exactly one and a half cups of frozen corn. I think I will set this down because I don't want them popping out everywhere. Pearl set would be popcorn. Ooh, you suck. Sorry about that. That joke was pretty corny. <laughs> Now it's up to me to mash up one clove of garlic. Nobody told me how to accomplish this, so it is up to me and my two brain cells to figure it out. Good thing I'm a natural at this sort of thing. It just really comes easily to me. This is where I thrive. I think my strategy will be to just cut it up in the tiniest little pieces I can and then cut those pieces into even tinier pieces and then eventually the pieces will be so tiny that it's considered a mash. It's the monster mash. The monster mash! Shoot, I just remembered that I was supposed to be looking at two recipes. What if the other recipe called for garlic? Three cloves of garlic! Is it just me or does four cloves of garlic in this overall meal sound like a lot of garlic? Guess I won't be kissing anyone tonight. <laughs> Darn, what else is new? Does garlic have a similar effect to onions where it makes your eyes burn and I just never knew about this? Or am I just getting emotional? Okay, the water just started to boil and I think it's finally time that I send off our view, or <laughs> I was gonna say beautiful veggie platter, but then beautiful came out. Remember kids, always wear a glove. I forgot to season my veggies. <laughs> it's okay, it doesn't matter how we get there as long as we get there. I personally love pepper. The more pepper, the better. Like an amount of pepper that when I pepper something, the person next to me goes, Oh, you must really like pepper. Now I'm gonna add this Chipotle seasoning. It kind of smells like spicy barbecue sauce. I just mixed it with my hands. My fingers taste good, so that's a good sign. It's currently 11.40 p.m. We're just gonna ignore that. But the tomatoes are supposed to take around 30 minutes in the oven. Oh, I should set a timer. Looks like our water is just beginning to boil. This is going so well. Okay. Where are my nudes? My favorite type of pasta is angel hair, but I wanted to switch it up with some penne because I thought it would look pretty. <laughs> oh shoot, I didn't add the salt to the jacuzzi water. Does that mean it's too late? It's not too late, I'm gonna add it now. Ow, shoot, the heat from the oven made it really hot. What am I even looking for? <laughs> I forgot. What was I doing? Oh, salt. It says add a generous amount of salt and to imagine it like ocean water salty. What am I, a mermaid? How am I supposed to know what amount of salt makes it ocean water salt? My mother has been laughing for five minutes at this clip, so I think I may have used a tad too much salt. This is the salt version of the two shots of vodka vine. Two shots? of vodka. This should be good. So I am to wait 10 to 12 minutes. So wait, am I just chilling right now? I have nothing to do for the next 10 minutes? Oh, cooking is stressful. I think once you get to a certain skill level, this could be relaxing, but what can I say? It's scary having your first time, especially on camera. <laughs> 
My break was short lived because I figured I should probably start putting food away that I am done using. You know me, just always thinking ahead. I. Shut the fuck up. as well as I thought. I only have two minutes until my pasta is ready, but I have about 16 minutes until my veggies are ready. I wish. Oh, time to take out my pasta. I was giving my basil a bath, but that will have to wait. All right, noodles, it's showtime. Setting aside three fourths of a cup of pasta water before draining. I don't dunk this into this hot pot, do I? That doesn't make, that sounds dangerous. I'm gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Oh, there's my drainer. Ah! I'm just gonna put this into the sink and then when I drain my pasta, it will catch a cup of the pasta water. Ha ha, I'm a genius. Are you sure about that? My half cup of pasta water. Here's my pasta. Maybe I did time this better than I thought. I can't believe this is kind of working. Okay, I'm now gonna add the three cloves of garlic. It wants me to add the roasted tomatoes, but they still have nine minutes left. Oh my gosh, you know what? They look so squishy in there. I think it's, oh crap. I think it's, I think it's time to go. Ah. Turn this off. Off. Oh, how do you know if you turn the oven off or not? Woo! That's hot. That's really hot. How do people do this? You can hear sizzling. <laughs> I'm scared. Oh my. Oh my. Approximately seven oh mys later. Last but not least, time to crack one open with the boys. All that's left to do now is taste test my creation and we're gonna see if, if all this was worth it or if I should just stick to Chipotle. the saltiness, but also the tang of the tomatoes. Nothing like eating at 12.35 a.m. <laughs> My baguette is quite tough. I got just a little bit of the chipotle seasoning on my finger and it was like an explosion of flavor. So I thought that that's what this was going to be. But surprisingly, it's quite mild. I'm gonna go back to the pasta now to see if my zucchini corn puts my pasta into perspective. Wow, that's some salty pasta. In conclusion, this was not a relaxing experience, but it was an experience that needed to be experienced, and I am glad that I experienced it. But for the most part, I think I'm going to stick to my technique of buying food that other people have made, because they're better at it. How's it tasting? I'd give it an eh out of 10. <laughs> Thank you.